Hello there, I'm Jay Sankar. Hey Sean here. I'm Pima. My name is Kumudita. I'm Pasindu. Anjula Shanaka. Open Marriage 3 is just around the corner. Our developers put in hours of work to reach this milestone. But just developing the features is not enough. In this code, our aim is to assure the quality of the product. So that includes the process of testing out everything that we develop. So for this purpose, we do have the unit and integration test written. But those scripts can only test out a single component. So we can just uh, test out like a part by invoking that specific function, right? So even the integration test can't actually test out realistic workflows that people interacting with the system actually do. It doesn't guarantee that these isolatedly tested functions would work together as a group. Imagine this. You're making a car and say you haven't yet fully developed the oil tank to your car. So you just go ahead and make the changes into the oil tank and test out the oil tank by putting oil into it. You may see if there's any leakage. You just make sure the component is fully functioning and even integrate the oil component you just developed into your car. But on the very first test drive, you won't quite nail it, right? So you can do all the permutations and drive the vehicle in a couple of different ways. See if it goes right or well wrong. Identify the bugs by yourself as the end user of the car. See where things went wrong for all the possible ways you have driven the car by now. Well, that would suck that if you are not into smelling engine oil and test driving bad deal of cars for a living. Now let's try to further our imagination to a robot that you have with you which could run down and do all the testing that you would normally do precisely to the point and then run back to you with those results. Now you, you, you only have to refer to that report uh, your pet robot just provided you with. Now let's come back to real life. Say we have designed ourselves a cute little robot ready to test drive our Burning Mars 3 car and tell us if it has executed correctly. If not, what exactly went wrong? Where it went wrong by running extremely realistic human-like testing, all done with just one command. That's exactly what we have done with Cucumber and Cypress. So we went through all the user scenarios and defined them one by one. Wrote automation scripts using those frameworks, integrated it into the QA dashboard using GitHub Actions, so it would show up all the end-to-end -end test results listed down over there. See everything with some green little indicators? You are guaranteed that everything would work as it was expected at first. We are confidently put up a release and we call it is bound to work from one end to the other. Something red, no need to fret. Cause this doesn't just replace human software testers but push the boundaries to go beyond. You can find all the screen recordings saved. So you can find out what exactly went wrong without having to set up the platform locally, reproduce the same thing again. Well, now you truly do save the time. The ratio of the time it takes for testing of actual development time can be as high as 50% for a large scale application like OpenMR. On average, an OpenMRS developer puts in about 5 hours uh, to develop on each day. That's 5 into 365 for a year. That's whopping 1,825 hours a year. And we have about 200 something developers in our community, right? So that would add up to like 365,000 person hours a year. That's whopping 180,000 hours per year we have saved for OpenMRS developers. And that's not all. This doesn't just only replace the manual testing done by the developers, but enhances the quality of testing. More than the act of testing, the act of design and testing is one of the best bug preventers known. With these new testing frameworks already implemented, it's more than exciting to be a developer at OpenMRS right now. I just really love this. Same here. Same. Yep, we all do.